Start your computations. Hello everybody, today's vlog is not gonna be a usual vlog. This is gonna be the transformation of my fireplace. So we've lived in this house for about two and a half years now, I think, and this has been such an eyesore. It's very cool toned, and if you know me, I like anything just warm, orangey, neutral. I'm finally tackling this today, and the reason why it took me so long to finally tackle this is because I had other plans for it. I was not sure if I wanted to do like a stucco, have tiles over it, or just paint it, and I decided we're just gonna paint it because that's the most cost efficient way, and it's something that we can tackle ourselves. We went to Home Depot, picked up some paint swatches, we're gonna swatch it just to see which color we want. So right now it is this medium gray color and it's not terrible. I personally like warm tones and things so I thought I would switch it up. That's what it looks like now. Ideally, I would like to tile this part. That's gonna cost some money and I'm just trying to save and do whatever I can right now. So we're gonna do paint. Here I have some very basic material. This is a old set that I have. You can just get this at Home Depot or any sort of home store or home renovation store. I don't know. And as for the paint, these are the three that we got. They are all from the brand Bear. And here I have Sanderling, Burnt Almond, and Basewood. As for primer, this is the one that I picked up. Pretty simple, pretty basic. And then we also got a brush cleaner for after we're done with everything. So in case you guys are here to have a very detailed, perfect explanation on how to do this. This is not the right video. Just click out if that's what you're expecting. This is just simply my DIY in my home. Beautiful. All right. First, I think I'm gonna prime. If you don't have a stir stick, don't worry, a chopstick. So that's what we're gonna use. Stir this primer up. I'm gonna first do a thin layer of the primer before I do the swatches. Here we been painting with shorts on <laughs> usually when it's fresh you could wash it off but I tried earlier I try to wet it it wouldn't come off now it just it just looks like two domino dots kind of look like toothpaste so the primer right now is drying and once it dries we'll put paint and I wanted to do a Q&A because it's been a while since we've done a Q&A here so I asked you guys uh, to ask us some questions so that we can answer them. I'm gonna make some food first. Always HelloFresh, as you guys know. But if you have never heard of HelloFresh, they basically deliver ingredients and recipes to your house, like those right there, so that you don't have to do groceries and you won't have to get takeout food. HelloFresh is now from 566 per serving. And also wanna say thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and sponsoring us for the past very long time now. <laughs> they have family recipes, calorie smart recipes, and even vegetarian recipes. And they are super flexible, so you can add an extra meal at any time or pause your delivery. For time's sake, I'm gonna make this Mediterranean salmon. Only takes 20 minutes. Mm. Oh man, sun's going down. Start your computations. A little bit more than lemon zest. 
Yo, that looks so good. What, Navi? I swear, every time I'm cooking, she thinks I'm making it for her. She's like, uh, okay, um, but where is the food? This looks great. By the way, if you guys are interested, you can get eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month at HelloFresh.com using our code WALLY80. And for now, we will eat. Excuse me, ma'am. This is not for you. Navi, go, go, go. Good girl. Sick fun. Sick fun. <laughs> All right, here goes the q and I think um, I'm just gonna pass it around with me and Whaley and then we just choose one. How many kids do you want in the future? A few dozen dogs? I don't really want to have kids, to be honest. <laughs> but, you know, never say never. But if I were to, only one. Only one? Only one. We're mm. already living in a very over overpopulated world. <laughs> don't need that many babies. Or should we ask like two questions each, maybe? Right. Maybe it's too short. Okay. Cause you gotta, you gotta eat. <laughs> How's the food, by the way? So good. Yeah. What is couscous exactly? I. Is it a rice? I wouldn't know what to tell you. How do you deal with stress and responsibilities needed to be done with negative surroundings? Hmm. I like to be the light. I, I think I, I would like to say that. I'm obviously yeah, I not agree. always the positive person mm -hmm. in the group. I think whenever I feel negativity, for some reason, that side of me kicks in where I'm like, okay, everybody's negative. I have to be positive now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the only one that can like bring this back up. <laughs> That's my mentality. I know it's hard though, because some people can't do that. Mm -hmm. It just like brings you down. Yeah, I guess a way you can think of it is like, instead of letting all of that affect me, why don't I be the light in the situation? Mm. Wavy 2019, huh? Love your vlogs. Thank you. What is a must visit place in Korea. What is a what? What is a must visit place in Korea? Oh my god, Gwangjang Market. I knew you were gonna say that! <laughs> my favorite spot because like it's like a lot of different types of food concentrated in one market, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like most of the Korean traditional traditional dishes or like most famous ones at least, most popular ones, are in the market. It's just a, a one-stop one shop. shop. Oh, like look that. at that chemistry. Oh, this is a good one. Was it hard traveling in Japan not knowing much Japanese? Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. It wasn't hard. So what was it? <laughs> it wasn't it easy, but it wasn't hard. It wasn't easy because like, obviously you can't get a, an answer right away. It's not like a, you ask a question and then they answer you right away. It's like, you have to use a lot of sign languages, body movements, mm -hmm. and it was not too hard because it was easy to like read what they were trying to say without mm, understanding true. what they're trying to say, if that makes sense. That's true, mm -hmm. but it, it is true. I think there's just that sense of connection. Uh, excuse me, they're asking me, they're not asking you. <laughs> because Japanese people are so nice, they're really, really willing to help you. So I think that made it not so hard. Okay, here's a good one. What's something you learned from your parents that you would teach your kids? Navi. I would teach my kids earn everything they want. Cause Tell her. Tell her. <laughs> <laughs> my parents really taught me that at a mm. young age. I never got anything for free. Mm. I always had to work for everything that I wanted. Even if I threw a tantrum in a store, my mom would, she would not give in. Mm -hmm. I had to earn everything that I wanted, whether yeah, it be yeah. through my grades, doing things around the house, um, being a good kid. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. Your parents did really good at I that. don't believe in allowances. Mm -hmm. I believe in working mm -hmm. for, you know, obviously when you're a kid, you want some money to buy like food or like toys. Yeah. So I'm not depriving my children of that, but mm -hmm. they need work for it. It's not going to be given. Very true. Thankful that in this relationship, you will be that mom. Because <laughs> I'll be the dad. We're like, here. <laughs> here, don't tell mom. Okay, got another good one here. Mm -hmm. Any tips for someone who wants to do a solo trip in the US? Let me think about this. I think my biggest tip is just to have a plan. Mm. Yeah. You can't just be like super free spirited. I mean, I think a solo trip is about being free, but when it comes to your safety and all of that, you have to plan it. Mm -hmm. So you need to know where you're staying. You need mm -hmm. to know how much things are going to cost. Mm -hmm. If it's somewhere where you're not going to be able to rent a car, you need to learn about the transportation system before you go. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff. You need yeah. to be prepared. As long as you're prepared, I think the fun comes along with it when you're there. How do you keep the romance alive between you and Whaley for all these years? I love you guys. How do you keep it alive? I don't know, like I don't have a secret or anything. It just <laughs> it just happened. How do you keep the romance alive? Yeah. Mm hmm I don't know, you just try to be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once in a while you get her some some that she likes, some that she's been talking about, you know what I'm saying? Because I know them girls, 
<laughs> Why are you um, talking like this right now? I don't know. But you guys <laughs> love dropping them hints. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just gotta pick up on those things and pretend, you know, pretend you're doing what you're doing and you're in here and you're like, mm, I remember that, I remember that. And then when you get it for them, you surprise them and then you're like, bam! And then they're like, oh, how did you know? <laughs> I don't know. There's no like exact answer. Every relationship's different. Yeah. And can I, am I allowed to add? Yeah. to that yes because <laughs> it's your question um i feel like juan and i are actually not a romantic couple at all what? so yeah we're not that romantic i feel like everyone's love is different so don't yeah. feel pressured to have to be romantic after so many years because the reality is it's not always going to be that way mm -hmm. so the expectations from both parties shouldn't be that our relationship should always be super romantic i think when it happens spontaneously and naturally it's the best how has martial arts been going law <laughs> <laughs> not very well by the way look i got some more off not so well because the Asia trip, I basically missed out on three weeks after we came back. Uh, I got my tattoo done, so then it needs to heal for two more weeks. So I, uh, I'm basically missing out on like a month and a week. But yeah, what else can I say? It's fun, you learn. I guess you could say prepare. <laughs> Difference between Korea and Japan, which one you like more? Obviously the culture is different, mm -hmm. the food's different, Right. Um, the space is, is different. Mm -hmm. I want to say I prefer Korea more mm. because I like the food more. But I like Japan more as far as the hospitality, like the history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, history yeah. too. I, yeah. I love the little small like buildings. Yeah, um, small everything yeah, basically. Everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think Japan's really cute. I love mm -hmm. all, 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 I love all the handmade things in Japan. Mm -hmm. The it's cars, really, yeah, the I love the small cars, small the cars. small apartments, small like, yeah, like everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also do like that Korea felt more lively. Mm. Mm -hmm. And mm. I feel like as someone coming from... It was more lively, you think? I feel like Japan was more lively. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I feel, mean, well, I yeah. Mean, I mean lively as in like the overall energy from people. In Japan, I felt that everyone was really calm. Uh -huh. and, in Jap and in Korea, like I saw ah, a lot of young kids. Okay, that makes like, more sense. And yeah. they're like more loud, kind yeah, of yeah. like what we're used to. They're more like ex expressive. Ex yeah. Expressive? Is that the right mm -hmm. word? Like they express themselves more versus mm -hmm. Japanese people are a little more like to keep to themselves, they're a little more calm. They don't like to make a scene, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. like for example, just on the trains, we were told that you can't talk on your phone or you mm -hmm. can't talk loudly in yeah. the train. Yeah. Not that we would, but I, I noticed that people are very mindful of that. So it's yeah. very, it constantly feels like you have to be very quiet. Yeah, that's Versus true. in Korea, it's very lively. You mm -hmm. can like talk as loud as you want. Yes, <laughs> and I agree. Talking. What are three things you value most in life? My happiness. Okay. My... Um, Safety. Uh -huh. I and, like that. And um, health. Mm. Mm -hmm. You speak like an old grand lady. Mm -hmm. Grand lady? I meant to say old lady and grandma. A grand lady. I am a grandma. <laughs> You're a cute grandma. Imagine you are. Thanks. Okay, is that enough questions? I don't you think, think so. When well, you want to ask. I feel like more. I'm not interesting. I feel like we're not interesting. I know. I, like the questions are okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Like the questions like asked. Uh -huh. Being asked, mm -hmm. they're just like the same. When are you gonna propose? When yeah, are you guys getting true. married? Sometimes I it's wonder, a little repetitive. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if people that ask those questions don't ever uh -huh. watch our responses <laughs> because Maybe. it's constantly um, the same questions that people Maybe, have for us, huh? and we've actually answered a lot of them, if not majority of them, mm -hmm. in past like Q and As and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if we did get to your question, probably check back to some of our old videos. I'm sure we've answered. And I think we're just gonna end the night and. Paint the fireplace tomorrow. I'm trying to do peace with my toes. Update. It is now dark, so we're gonna continue this tomorrow. But I wanted to show you the colors. So these are the three colors that we picked out. My paintbrushes are wet right now, so I can't do an actual swatch. But just to show you, these are the three colors. They're from Bear, Burnt Almond, Basewood, and sand sanderling so these three tones are more on the neutral side but i think we're gonna go with base wood it's picking up a lot darker on camera but it's actually a lot more light in real life so i think that's the one we're gonna go with to be continued tomorrow tomorrow 
uh, forgot to really start the vlog, but yesterday we didn't have enough time to paint. So once the primary dried today, I went in and painted the, the brick, I guess. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like because the whole thing is not brown yet, maybe that's why I'm not feeling 100% about it. I thought I was gonna love it because on the swatch, it looked really nice. Painting is always like that. Once you paint it onto a big area, it just always looks different. Yeah, I'm gonna keep painting, but I feel like I don't have enough paint. I forgot to get paint. And all I use so far is just this little sample size right here. But I'm getting a lot done. I might not need to get actual tub. I might just get a little sampler. Did I say sampler? I meant sample. <sighs> Look at it from afar. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see after I finish. Start your computations. all done i love how it turned out i was skeptical at first to be honest painting my fireplace but this is so cute i love how it turned out so everything on here is pretty much about the same i did swap out the blanket in here i thought the yellow really went well with the nude color and i moved one of our plants over here this one is super cute i love the pattern on the leaves and everything else is pretty much about the same. We kept the wood. I decided to just leave that in there. And maybe eventually we'll paint the inside of it black. But for now, I think that looks nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This cost us only six bucks. Navi. <laughs> pretty much only cost us six dollars because we didn't even have to buy like a quart of paint we only bought the samples which are three dollars each and we already had paintbrushes at home so this simple little transformation only cost us six dollars and i'm so so happy with it we just pretty much grabbed other things in the house to kind of redecorate and i feel like the whole space just feels nice and fresh again and just so much more us <laughs> so that's it if you guys have a fireplace and it's an eyesore, who would have thought? Just a little coat of paint and it can be so much better. So, thank you guys for watching this vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!